Good morning. It's time for your health check on this Monday. Fatigue, hair loss, weight gain. These are some of the symptoms that women can have uh, when they're experiencing hormonal imbalance. Women come in with all slew of different complaints and somebody somewhere um, told them that they should get their hormones checked or maybe they saw online this could be hormonal. Um, so tons of different symptoms because, you know, we have 50 different hormones in our body at least. Dr. Batour specializes in women's health for Cleveland Clinic. She says women will often come in for symptoms related to perimenopause, postmenopause, or uh, when they have disruptions in menstrual cycles. Testing varies based on the situation, but Dr. Batour says in some cases they'll check estrogen, testosterone, thyroid hormone levels. Uh, she also says it's important to note certain symptoms like difficulty losing weight or even hair loss aren't always related to hormones. If there's a lot of irregularities to the cycles, I'm probably more likely to do more testing versus if it's nice regular cycles with other symptoms, I may do other types of tests like thyroid and, um, or I may just actually sit back and listen a little bit more before I reach for, you know, ordering. Yeah, that's good to know. Dr. Pretor says it's important for women not to suffer in silence. If you notice any kind of health issue, anything at all, definitely consult with your physician. Okay, did you know, this is a new one for me, uh, the risk for lead poisoning in children it rises actually in summertime when the weather warms, windows are open, home improvement projects are started, uh, that can all kick up lead dust. So experts from Cleveland Clinic say it's important to be mindful of the lead exposure in your child's play area. They say to make sure to repaint over any chipping paint, especially in aging homes, also important to keep in mind, any home built before 1978 could have lead paint and may be a risk. Children under age six who have a tendency to kind of put things in their mouths all the time uh, are of greatest concern because critical brain development happens at this age. Did you like yeah. gasp when you when I said 1978? Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah but, but that's very, very true, and you got to be cautious. I mean, little kids, they're like all over the place, and then, yes, they are putting their hands in their mouths, so mm. oof, be on the lookout for that. I know you know nothing about that. <laughs> Not Definitely. whatsoever. I don't have You've three of like them. <laughs> Even the old kids. ones put stuff in their mouths, too. Sure. Good yeah. reminders. Yeah. All right, thanks for that, mm -hmm. Sonia. As we